Hey everybody, it's just me, LTM. I'm here today sharing with you the start of another cleanup. I have been doing some tidying up in my house because having been working full time, I tend to do a lot of dump and run, which means my house ends up a mess. So I've done some tidying up that I haven't shot videos for. And my next room that I'm going to start tidying up is my laundry. Ever since I moved here, within about six months, it became a dump and run kind of a room and a room where things got put that were either on their way to go outside, because obviously there's a door to the outside from my laundry. Things would get dumped there when I was in the house, not ready to go outside yet. Things that I wanted to take outside, but also a dumping ground for things that I don't really know what to do with. So here's going to be the really embarrassing bit. I'm going to show you my very, very messy, untidy, looks like a bomb hit it laundry. So here we go. I'm about to open this door, which um, comes from my kitchen into my laundry. Here we go. Hold on to your hats, folks. You might want to sit down. If you're a neat freak, you're not going to like this at all. So in my laundry, I have this uh, really nice set of cupboards. These were in here when I bought the house and there's a bench, but oh my God, look at that bench. Oh my gosh. Underneath there, I have my dryer. There's a couple of baskets of clothes on the ground here. Next to my dryer, I used to breed mealworms to feed to my chooks and that's all defunct so I could really get rid of that. Next to that there's a recycling and bin which will need to stay in this room. Clothes air dryer which will also stay in this room. And I have another basket. These clothes are actually washed. They just need to be put away. Got an empty basket here because I've got some washing out on the line at the moment. There's a um, that's a billy, so that's part of my camping equipment. But, oh my gosh, look at all this stuff that is on this bench. There are several layers of it. And the cupboards are pretty much full as well. And then when we turn around, so I've got the laundry tub over here. Uh, this is some mushroom strata that I'm looking at trying to revive, see if there's any mushroom spore in there. So that's a current project. Have a little shelf above there, which is fine. There's that big spray bottle needs to be outside, not here in the laundry. Uh, this is a bit more of the um, mushroom base. And then there's a few odds and sods, including that hose attachment. And another hose attachment all sitting on top of my washing machine by the way this is a fake egg this is filled with sand and you use it to encourage your chooks to lay their eggs in a particular spot it's not a real egg don't worry uh, this is a mixture of linseed and chirps I think to um, use on my wooden tools and all on my front door to oil them to keep them from cracking so there is all kinds of stuff in here. That's my washing machine. So there's all kinds of stuff in here that doesn't need to be in here. And there's all kinds of stuff in here that I need to sort out and find homes for. So this is the starting point. It's probably gonna take me quite a long time. I mean, weeks to get this sorted because I'm not quick at this kind of stuff. So I'll take some videos along the way and see how progress is. Thought I'd also show you what's in the cupboards because I think the cupboards really need a good sorting out as well. This one's not too bad, although there's egg cartons at the top and as I don't have chooks anymore, I really don't need those anymore. There's all kinds of bits and bobs, measuring tapes. Uh, these are things to go on trees to stop fruit fly from eating the fruit. More egg cartons. And then over in this one, we've got um, tea towels and uh, rags and things up the top, vacuum bags, bags for my vacuum cleaner I think. Um, that's some um, insecticides, stuff like that. And then there's a third cupboard here, which at the top that basket has all of my batteries in it. 
and then down here is a mixture of um, torches and candles and matches and um, fragrant oils and things like that so that's what's in the cupboards and they need to tidy up too and lastly in my laundry I have this this tall cupboard again these cupboards were here when I bought the house so I didn't build these but they are absolutely fantastic and these probably also need a bit of a tidy up as well so up the top there's also like all kinds of cans pest, pest sprays and stuff like that then we have cleaning things here which is a bit of a laugh because really don't do much cleaning and i have so many cleaning products that's a bit ridiculous this is all to do with laundry these drawers are really cool by the way they slide out so you can get to the things that are at the back so this shelf and the shelf both do that the other ones are just plain shelves quite a lot of space on that shelf as you can see just my iron and some CLR and down the bottom there is a bit of space at the back there I think so that's all um, shoe polishing and things like that in that crate so mm, so that could do with a bit of a tidy up and then this one is a broom cupboard and you can see that um, that big tubing there is for the vacuum cleaning system that's built into the house uh, then there's my ironing board there's some brooms dust pans and that kind of stuff in there so all of these cupboards could do with a big clean out as well and I'm not really sure whether I should start with cleaning out the cupboards first or cleaning off the bench first I'm thinking I probably should do the cupboards first because then that will give me some space to put some of the other things away so let me know in the comments what do you think do you think would you do the cupboards first or would you do the bench first maybe do the bench and do some sorting and work out what you've got and then you know how much space you need or maybe do the cupboards first so then you've got space to put the things away that are on the bench okay let's see how this goes